it's time for the Sam and Max Season 1 Review for the week. Now, I never really paid any attention to what Sam and Max was about growing up. I had heard of them before, but for some reason, I was never really interested in them through their comics, TV shows, or video games. But now that I've played this game, let's see how it turned out. This is a point-and-click adventure game. There are six episodes in this game that all intertwine with each other, so I guess you could say that this is one long episode. Throughout the game, you'll play as Sam, the dog, while Max, the rabbity thing, will usually just walk aimlessly around the area, being virtually useless. He does have one useful role, but I'll get to that later. If you didn't already know, Sam and Max are two freelance police who receive cases that they have to solve from their commissioner. To solve these cases, you'll have to go around the neighborhood and other destinations and interact with the surrounding characters and objects to figure out what to do. There are many puzzles to solve. Each episode will take you some time to complete due to the difficulty of the puzzles. Some are fairly easy, and some will really get you to think. A lot of the puzzles have a logical solution to them, and a lot of them don't, so don't be too realistic while playing this game. When you interact with someone, you'll usually get to pick and choose what you want to say from a provided list. Some conversation choices won't benefit you in solving the case, but they can be very funny. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, tail tail. Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sir. That's what you'd like to believe. The other topics will give you hints and clues on what you need to do next, but sometimes they can be very vague, so you really have to pay attention to everything they say, or you'll be scratching your head in confusion and frustration for a long time before it dawns on you, hey, I need to go back and listen to that guy. Like I said before, you'll play as Sam, and Max doesn't really do anything. He does, however, provide you with hints on the current objective if you're really stuck, which does help. This game is full of laughs. One of the reasons that I kept playing it was just for the humor. Sometimes the jokes were downright hilarious. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. To the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time, ta-da, you've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. The graphics are fine for this type of game. Can't go wrong with cartoon style when, you know, it's based off of a comic. The controls are basically perfect because... Well, it's a point-and-click game. The only issue I had with the controls was that sometimes when you click near the very top, bottom, left, and right of the screen, Sam would sometimes walk where he wasn't supposed to, which became frustrating. There are times where you'll get to do some chase scenes in your car, which sounds cool, but... Eh. What I mean is, the frame rate could not keep up. It could become very glitchy, which really dampers the fun of the chase. And actually, it wasn't just the chase scenes, the whole game has a lot of glitches. The frame rate was the biggest issue, as it would happen quite a bit, no matter where you were. But there were other glitches, like sometimes when the character spoke, the last bit of their sentence would be cut off, which can really ruin the humorous rhetoric. Another downside was the loading times. Not all the loading screens took too long, but a lot of them did, which is very annoying, and in this case, a little creepy. Max's head in a flame. Hmm... I could see that picture on a hoodie being sold at Hot Topic. The voice acting was great, no complaints here. The voice actors did their jobs well, as this game has a lot of humor in it. Although I would advise to not let younger audience members listen to it, as there are some joke references and toilet humor that probably shouldn't be listened to by kids. There's a reason why the game is rated T. Sam and Max Season 1 is a pretty fun game, especially if you like point and click games. Although there are quite a few technical and voice glitches throughout the whole game, and the loading times would sometimes just take too long, there's nothing that is really too bothersome to not make you want to finish the game. The graphics are fun. The controls are nearly perfect, and probably the best feature is that this game is just plain funny. It will make you laugh till the end. This game gets a 3.75 out of 5, with the title of Awesome. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs>